Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. It is time for a story. Today's story is called What a Way to Start a New Year. And this is a Rosh Hashanah story. This is by Jacqueline Jules and illustrated by Jude Steed. We hope you enjoy the story. We invite you to sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, let's get started. It was almost Rosh Hashanah, but we weren't getting ready for the holiday. We were eating pizza in our new house, sitting on packing boxes. How can we have Rosh Hashanah here without the Kaplans? I complained. Dad agreed. I'll miss Mrs. Kaplan's honey cake. My father wasn't Jewish, but he loved celebrating the holidays, especially with our old neighbors, the Kaplans. Their daughter Lily was my best friend. Why can't we go back to Greenville? My little brother Harry asked. Mrs. Kaplan invited us. Good idea, Mom said. I'll call her. The next morning, we piled into the car. Dad said he would join us later. Greenville, Greenville was only two hours away. Harry pinched his nose. Marcus smells bad. He does, I agreed. Oh no, Mom grabbed him, grabbed Marcus from his car seat. Let me change his diapers. I'll be quick. Harry ran after Mom. I forgot my special pillow. A few minutes later, Mom came out of the house with Marcus in her arms and Harry behind her. Bang! The front door slammed shut. Mom grabbed the doorknob. My keys! The house was locked with Mom's keys inside. What a way to start a new year, Mom said, sitting down on the steps. We called Dad. He came home from work and used his key to open the door. Then we all left the house together. I couldn't wait. In Greenville, we had friends. In Greenville, we didn't get lost on the way to the grocery store. Unfortunately, we didn't get very far. Bumpity bump bump. The back tire was flat. Dad pulled off the road. What a way to start a new year, Dad said. We called a tow truck. By the time the tire was fixed, it was too late to drive to Greenville, so we went back home to our packing boxes. It doesn't feel like Rosh Hashanah here, I told Mom. We don't even have a Ron Shala. Harry opened the refrigerator and reached for a bottle of grape juice. Careful, Mom warned, but it was too late. The bottle slipped out of Harry's hands. Grape juice spilled all over the floor. What a way to start a new year, Harry said. We heard Dad hung up the telephone. I just talked to Alan Levine from my office. He invited us to join him at Temple Shalom. He thinks we will enjoy the services, Dad said. We'll eat when we get home, Mom said. I have leftover pizza. No brisket? No honey cake? Harry asked. What a way to start a new year, I grumbled. When we got to the synagogue, Dad introduced us to Mr. Levine. He had white hair and a big smile. Happy New Year, he greeted us. We sat down as the cantor began singing. It sounds like Greenville, Harry whispered. He was right. The songs and prayers sounded just like they did in our synagogue in Greenville, but the people weren't the same. I didn't recognize a single face. After services, Mr. Levine came up to us in the lobby. I'd like you to meet my wife, he said. A white-haired woman held out her hand to Mom. Do you have plans for dinner? Harry crossed his arms and pouted. Leftover pizza. Mrs. Levine smiled. Why don't you come to our house? Are you having brisket? Harry asked. Mrs. Levine nodded. Okay, Harry said. Everybody laughed. Harry was satisfied, but I wasn't. One look at Mr. and Mrs. Levine's white hair told me there wouldn't be any kids at dinner. Rosh Hashanah would be boring, even if the food was good. The boy, then a boy about Harry's size, came up and tugged on Mr. Levine's hand. Grandpa, he said, can we leave now? I'm hungry. Yes, Mr. Levine said. But first, meet our new friends, Dinah and Harry. I'm Michael, the boy said, and I'm Maya, a girl my size, came up beside us. There was a large table in the Levine's dining room. Harry and I sat at one end with Maya and Michael. We ate round chala, chala brisket and all the Rosh Hashanah foods we loved, except there was no honey cake. My family likes apple cake better, Maya said. Try a piece. Yummy. Harry said, taking a bite. Mmm, Dad agreed. I nodded my head. What a wonderful way to start a new year. The end. We hope you enjoyed this short story. We invite you for our more stories that will be posted later on. So, until then, see you. Goodbye.